hopefully I'm not going to have any problems getting the geese and the ducks together in the orchard. Morning friends, Chad here. I got a little project to do today in our permaculture orchard and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. The geese are still being pretty nasty in this nesting season and I want to try to see if I can get them out into the orchard with the ducks and I don't know yet how it's going to go so we're going to see. It might be funny, it might be terrible, it might be a disaster. I have no idea how it's going to go. Stick with me for a little bit and we'll get things going here in the orchard. I got to adjust some of the fencing because I've somewhat completed this goose house. I'm not ready to show it to you yet but the geese have been moved into their new space. I'm just going to be using this pool tree netting for now. A lot of it got damaged over the winter so I'm not really worried about electrifying it for now but I am going to be cutting it up somewhat and using it as temporary permanent fencing for this orchard. See now this pool tree netting serves a purpose, okay? And it served a purpose in the beginning of my plans here for the orchard, but honestly I feel like I'm going to have to get some permanent fencing in because if ever you want to move this stuff, geez, it just gets tangled really bad and I lose my patience. <laughs> so I'm just using it now as a temporary permanent fencing and I'm going to be cutting it to make certain shapes until I'm ready to put in some permanent fencing. Fuzzy, you want to come in, buddy? Here, you want to come in? Come here, Fuzzy. Fuzzy. How are you? How are you? So what I've done here for now is, as soon as I open up my duck house door, I have fencing, and it's going to join up with the garden fencing right here, and then I cut it. So it's just short enough, so I can actually make use of the garden fencing. Fuzzy, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. So I, I think I can actually make use of the garden fencing because it's already a four foot high fencing and it's long, so why not use it? What I'm going to do is attach this one that I'm just working on now and I'm going to attach this to the end of the goose house here. Hey buddy. It's a hot one today. I think it's 25 degrees today. That's pretty good. 25 degrees, it's spring. Dexter, what are you doing, buddy? Come here. What are you doing? You're painting. It's too hot. Let's go. Let's go. It's too hot. Let's go. Good boy. Let's go. Okay, so while that water's filling up, I'll show you what I did here. I got this temporary pool tree netting kind of butted up against the run of the new goose house. And then I ran it all the way along back to the way I used to have the orchard locked in so that the ducks and the geese can free range in the orchard. Since it's a permaculture style, you know, I want the ducks and the geese to be able to free range so that we could fertilize the ground here and keep the insect population down and I attached the fence to the vegetable garden and I'm just going to use the vegetable garden fence as the fence. 
I still have the area underneath the goose house to uh, protect so that they can't wander under there, but I'll just use this temporary fencing for now. <laughs> Dexter, what are you panting for? Are you hot? Uh, are you hot? I got a swimming pool there for you. You want to go for a dip? Uh, you want to go for a dip? Now that it's t-shirt weather, the claws just dig in. <laughs> and Olive's here too. Just watching Dexter being crazy. <laughs> Oops, there's Molly. You wanna say hi to the gang? What I did over here, guys, is I didn't free range the ducks for a while just to let all of this grass get nice and thick, eh? And now it's nice and long and I've moved the geese over here and hopefully, hopefully, I'm not gonna have any problems getting the geese and the ducks together in the orchard. There's a robin up there. Okay, I mean, the ducks are easy, you know? They're living the time of their life in the orchard. They got lots of grass, lots of bugs. You name it, we got it. They used up almost all their water and they didn't touch the swimming pool. Maybe they know that the swimming pool is for the geese. <laughs> now let's see if I open up the door to the goose house, what's gonna happen? To be honest with you guys, the reason why I'm kind of worried is because the geese and their nesting behavior has been pretty aggressive. They're pretty much insane and I mean, if I let the geese out now and they think that the ducks are threatening them, are they gonna attack the ducks the same way they attack me? Or, I mean, the geese are supposed to be protecting these ducks while they're free ranging in the orchard. Maybe hawks can get the ducks. So the geese will help prevent the hawks from swooping down, or at least that's what I'd like to think because the geese are loud and obnoxious and aggressive and they don't take no guff from no one, not even me. Freak out? Got a swimming pool for you. Uh, guys? Okay, so far that's actually not too bad. They're not really attacking me. Maybe it's because they have a much bigger space here. The geese are right here and the ducks are right there. I wonder what will happen if the ducks get closer, if the geese will freak out. But I'm crossing my fingers that we're gonna be okay. This is a good sign.
Did you guys see that? Those two geese just walked right into the flock of ducks and there wasn't any incident at all, but those were the two female geese. The two boys were still over here. It's the boys that are the nastiest. The girls aren't too bad, but that's a good sign. That's a good sign that they didn't go after the ducks. They didn't even honk. They just walked right through. Yes. Okay. This is nasty that's nasty and their food is empty I really planned it out like this to put the new house right here because it's a little bit on an incline and really I know that the water is on an incline but I have to just dig out a little flatness so that the water can sit flat but what I like about it is that when I dump the water the water just flows downhill and it's not gonna stay stuck here. I can see that they've already made a nest in the new house here, but I can't get in there to see if there's any eggs. I would assume there's a few eggs if they've made a nest, but that right there is going to be the door. I was just in such a rush to get these geese out on some grass, and I mean I still have a lot of work to do on this house. I'm not really ready to show it to you yet guys, you're going to have to wait a bit longer. It's going to be wicked awesome, I assure you of that, but for now I just got this tarp over, it's too big, I need to trim it down, and I just use zip ties to tie up this uh, fencing here, so I really need to do a better tie up job. good what I did is I walked all the way around and I tried to corral the ducks so that they would herd oh no that guy's like mean <laughs> he almost got me he almost got me show you guys something just up here just up here it's disgusting it's you know those those tent caterpillars or gypsy moth caterpillars let's see what I can do I think I got most of them but uh, you know it's too bad that this wasn't inside the orchard there because I can just let the, the ducks eat them. But this particular tree, it's just a wild tree. I didn't plant this, but I know it's a pin cherry tree, but it doesn't give fruits or nothing. That's going to be a problem. I'm telling you, these caterpillar things are going to be a problem. And I hope it's not too much of a problem in our orchard this year. That's why I really wanted to get the geese and the ducks out here early enough this year so that it'll at least help me to keep the insects in check.
<laughs> you wanna dance? This girl right here, folks, she's turning into a farm dog. A real full-fledged farm dog. <laughs> Dexter! Dexter, let's go. Day's not turning out the way I thought it would. I honestly thought that these Emden geese would freak out the ducks and that's not the case at all. It seems like they still remember when they used to live together. I guess the next test is to see how I'm gonna put them back in their hut. I got to get the geese in the new hut and I got to get the ducks back in the ducky bunky and I'm hoping that I can just corral the ducks first. Let's see I'll give it a trial run. Two Lugana ducks! Two Lugana! Two Lugana actually went kind of easy. You doing okay, Olive? You stay there. Molly, you stay there too, okay? Don't freak out the geese. You two girls stay here, okay? Stay. The geese have got me cornered in my own orchard. <laughs> if I go any closer... Okay, they got me cornered there, so I'm gonna go around. <laughs> I can't believe I'm scared of my own geese. And that, my friends, is how you corral the geese on a hot day. <laughs> oh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It only took me five minutes. Yes! Oh, man, the black flies. The black flies are out before the mosquitoes this year. You know, you don't even know that you've been bit until you see a little bit of blood there. And those black flies take a whole chunk of skin out of you. I'm gonna have to start wearing my net or cover myself with bug spray. It's ridiculous. That's the reason why we got the geese on the farm in the first place is to guard the ducks while they're free ranging in the orchard. And it's kind of fun to have geese in the first place. I'm not looking to breed geese. I'm not looking to have a whole, a whole gaggle here at the farm. I just want these guys. I gotta continue working on their house. So stay tuned for that video, hopefully soon. As you can see, I still got a lot of work to do and then I got to film and then I got to edit. Take some time, I'm working hard here, folks. And speaking of free ranging in the orchard, if you're interested in watching the ducks and the geese free range in our orchard for the very first time last year, I have a video on that. If you haven't seen it, please feel free to click below and just keep on watching. It really helps with the algorithm here on YouTube, you know. And don't forget to pound that like, guys. Come on. Thanks very much. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Okay, take care.